Hi everyone, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video I'm going to share with you a diagram that I found in a research paper on histamine intolerance which really opened my eyes as to how many different symptoms there are of histamine intolerance. So here is the diagram. So it's from a research paper from Matisse and Novak. And I want to talk to you about this diagram as it's brilliant in showing you how histamine is going to impact so many different tissues and organs in the body. And it's why people have so many different symptoms of histamine intolerance. So we can see here that histamine stimulates all these different receptors. Okay, so these are the H1, H2, H3, H4 receptors. So when histamine stimulates the mucus secretion of the respiratory tract, this is where we can get bronchoconstriction and dyspnea, which means shortness of breath. It also causes a lot of the sort of congestion and sneezing that's really common with histamine intolerance. Now the H1 receptor also stimulates the release of estrogen. Now this is such a big deal for so many women because when histamine stimulates estrogen, estrogen then goes on and it actually stimulates mast cells to produce more histamine. So it's a really, really vicious cycle. Now histamine also impacts the uterus, it contracts the uterus. So this is smooth muscle constriction. So it's smooth, the uterus is smooth muscle, so it constricts the uterus and causes dysmenorrhea, which is pain. Okay, and we can see this smooth muscle also constricts the gut. Okay, this can cause abdominal cramping, stomach aches, it can also cause metorism, which is basically swelling of the abdomen, okay, which is caused by a buildup of gas in the intestines. It definitely causes diarrhea. And here we can see it increases gastric acid secretion. Now, when this happens, you get reflux and heartburn. So, you know, this is, this is a really interesting thing. It's common with histamine. People will present with what is actually low hydrochloric acid. And when you have low hydrochloric acid, you'll get SIBO or simply not being able to break down your food properly. That will cause inflammation in the small intestine that will cause an increase of histamine, which will stimulate um, gastric acid secretion. This causes a lot of histamine, uh, reflux and heartburn. Okay, we come back over here. We can actually see that histamine via the H1 and H2 receptors impacts the endothelial permeability. And this will cause skin issues such as urticaria, that's hives. It causes flushing, skin flushing, pruritus, that's itchiness. Okay, so big issues with skin with histamine. Um, we can also see histamine stimulating H1, H2 receptors, causes tachycardia and arrhythmia. This impacts our cardiovascular system. Okay, it can actually lead to anaphylaxis. It also causes hypertension and hy hypertonia, which actually is decreased muscle tone. Okay, now issues with the cardiovascular system is also going to cause vertigo. Okay, the vertigo can also be caused by uh, the neurotransmitter release. So histamine stimulates H3 receptors in the brain, increases the neurotransmitter. Histamine is a neurotransmitter in the brain. When it's too high, it's going to cause vertigo, causes headache, nausea and vomiting. This is interesting. Often it's the nausea and vomiting that's actually in the brain. When it's not in our gut, it just seems to be in the gut. Circadian rhythm arousal. What's that? That is insomnia. Okay, a lot of people have terrible problems sleeping with high histamine. Um, and this is an interesting one. Histamine, when it, it, it does regulate your body temperature. People with histamine issues, and I've seen it, will be sitting in my clinic in the middle of summer in Sydney, uh, which is, can be like 35 degrees in a ski park car because they're so cold. Okay, it also is involved in um, food intake and appetite control, learning and memory. Okay, so we can see that histamine can impact so many different tissues and organs in the body, which is why it actually causes so many of these symptoms.